This is maybe the hardest little food fight we've ever done. Yum. Please let one of these stay together. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the Kitchen and George what, what, you, That was a delayed reaction. It was like you opened your mouth as if we were waiting for like the puppeteer to put words in it. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Kristen and I uh, am a puppet. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Little Food, Food Fight. Fight. It we're, is the cooking competition show that we have the rights to in our name. Exactly, <laughs> and it's Little Food Fight because the stakes are little. Oh my god, guys. We're fighting. The dogs are fighting. The dogs are, the I don't know if you can hear growling in the background. Those are the two dogs just playing. We are trying to film. Okay, be quiet, guys. Stop making out. Thanks. Mm. So, Chris and I are doing a little food fight, and today we have a special episode. We are competing to see who can make the best filled, filled ravioli. Pasta! It's filled ravioli. We talked about this, Hamlet. <laughs> we talked about it in therapy. Actually, in this case, uh, the steaks are little and the food is little because we are making little raviolis. Yes. The normal size raviolis, but raviolis are kind of inherently little. They're teensies. They're not raviolos. They didn't mean to be this small. This is just how the pasta god made them. And speaking of pasta gods, that's what people call me, Kristen. Yeah. And especially today, because we are using some really cool new gadgets to make our pasta with a big thank you to our friends at Rakuten. Thank you, Rakuten, for sponsoring this video. So for the Kitchen and Jordan show, we obviously have a lot of food-related content, which means that we gotta buy a lot of gadgets. We've been using Rakuten for a few months to help supply our awesome Big Blue Kitchen here on the Kitchen and Jordan show. It is a browser extension, an app, and a website. Rakuten is the biggest cash back site and they partner with over 3,500 big name brands to bring you the best opportunities for cash back. Some of the brands are Macy's, Yeti, Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, Nike. To take advantage of Rakuten's cash back as well as coupons and deals, you simply use the links found on Rakuten and then shop on those stores' websites as you normally would. The first thing we got is this Hamilton Beach electric pasta maker. Which we will be using to roll out the dough for our raviolis. I also got these ravioli cutters and this rapid ravioli maker. Pretty cool. Yeah. This is a food processor from Cuisinart that Kristen and I purchased through Rakuten, got cash back, and now we are also gonna be using this bad boy. Yeah, we got lots of bad boys. Oh, we got the baddest boys. We got several bad boys. Don't forget to shop through Rakuten to get cash back on your favorite kitchen gadgets and groceries, just like we did for today's episode. Thanks for Rakuten for sponsoring this video. Check them out. Use the link in our description for a $40 sign-up bonus. And yeah, I guess let's go make some ravioles. Let's make some ravioli. Let's get back to it. <laughs> wow. wow. It's time to actually make these pastas. Okay, I've never made filled pasta before. I have no idea what I'm doing, and everything here looks really nice, and so I feel like we're... <laughs> it's just, it's just eggs. We've made unfilled pasta on a little food fight before, and it wasn't terrible. So I'm actually, I'm not that nervous. I think we're gonna do a good job. And if you do a bad job and I do a good job, that means I win. So Chris and I are competing to see who can make the best filled ravioli. I am going to be making a ricotta cheese and spicy sausage ravioli. And Kristen is going to be making, what are you uh, making? A ravioli alla barata with the, with the, with the, a ravioli alla barata. And pesto. And, pe and pesto. Okay, say that and again. Pistachio. I'm making a ravioli a la burrata with pistachio pesto. Yummy. So to make our dough, we both need to use the Cuisinart food processor. And I'm gonna go first, cause mine is a little bit more simple and should be done a little bit quicker. So I have eggs in here. I'm supposed to put two tablespoons of water. Wow. And then one tablespoon of olive oil. All right, so. <laughs> Whatever, I don't even care. You're gonna get that or you're just gonna. No, I'm not gonna get that one like your mom. All right, two cups of flour go in the food processor. I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm going to slowly add the egg mixture. It's gonna be the start of my dough. Dough-rific! <laughs> now that my dough is processed, I'm allowed to take it out of here and knead it on a floured surface. Okay, I need the food processor now. Oh, yum. You know, okay, so the recipe said that it, it shouldn't be sticky, and so I should add more flour. Hold on. Oh. Can you just throw a shit ton of flour on here? Yeah. Okay, thanks. My dough is finally becoming less of a garbage boy. Your dough is becoming a man. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 
All right, so my <laughs> what? Can you open my phone and get to the recipe? <laughs> Little food fight. Kristen's helping me because I'm having a breakdown. I have kneaded my dough into a smooth ball. I'm gonna wrap it in parchment paper. It needs to sit for about 30 minutes. So while that is sitting, Kristen is gonna use the food processor and get her dough started. Kristen, yes. take it away! <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know what? Actually, Kristen, I need your help. <laughs> it's in my hands. <laughs> I'm pasta. Edward Pasta hands. I'm Edward Pasta, just covering dough. Jen's behind camera because whatever. What are you doing, Kristen? I'm mixing my dry ingredients before they go in the food processor. And what is Jen doing, Kristen? Jen is running this bee cam. Because she be awesome. She be having a bad day. <laughs> She's having a minty bee. So. <laughs> yeah, I need three grams fine sea salt. Oh my god, all these grams. What am I supposed to do? Is this salt? Hey, what's up, salt? How you doing? Mixing my dry ingredients. Mixing my dry ingredients. Three large eggs. Okay, did I spill some? A little bit. Does it matter? No. Jen is still getting this out of her fingernails, so I'm wearing gloves. <laughs> There's so much eggshell in here. Okay, I've kneaded my dough. I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes, and then we're gonna start rolling it into the pasta maker. Kristen and I let our dough rest for about 30 minutes as per the instructions. And she's gonna run her dough through the pasta maker first and I will go after her, but she is distracted because I guess there's still a lot of shell in Kristen's dough. I just, did I crack a whole egg in here and just didn't notice? This is, this is how? I'm gonna just run the camera while Kristen does her little pasty poo. So why don't you talk us through what's happening Okay, here? so I have the Hamilton Beach pasta maker. It's on the thinnest setting uh, and like they're little guardrails. And so I'm just gonna feed this in and it's just gonna start. Oh, there it goes. There's more shell. <laughs> <laughs> Cool dough. Okay, so here's the good news. What's the good this news? This makes it easier to find the shell. <laughs> Kristen! I don't think I've ever had a situation where I've picked so many eggshells out of anything in my entire life. Well, my turn. <laughs> now I'm on B-cam. Now Kristen's behind camera and she looks great. That's looking good. Okay, well, not the best looking dough. <laughs> In fact, some might even say it's pretty ugly. <laughs> Here's the thing, we're doing, the pasta maker's doing a better job than we would do. The pasta doing a better job rolling out this dough than we would do, but I, God, I'm, not a, I'm not a chef and it's fine. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Okay, so off camera, I cook some spicy Italian sausage. I'm gonna mix it with ricotta cheese, and that will be my filling for my raviolis. I'm gonna make the filling for my raviola right now. My raviolo, my raviola, my ravioli. So I'm just mixing my ricotta into my sausage. I'm just mixing, I just, I'm not even measuring anymore. That's fine. Mmm. Where's the do you, don't wanna, do you wanna it. try some? No, don't eat it like that! The thing is, my grandparents are looking down at me from heaven and going, hmm, really gay haircut she still has. <laughs> and they're also saying that pasta looks bad. <laughs> Just kidding, love you guys. I have no clue what the hell I'm doing. I'm cutting pieces of the ravioli. Oh, pastry wheel. You're the only thing I love. <gasps> okay, look how cute this is though. <laughs> I mean, it's, Look at this. it's cute, all right. Look at how cute this is. I cut it too small, but look at how cute it is. Here's the thing, the tools we used to make this food were great. Yeah. But the brains we used <laughs> were less, were... We're not prepared for this. If I get one ravioli out of this, it'll be a victory. I've made dumplings before. So theoretically, this is kind of the same principle. Okay, one ravioli. I am gonna start closing my ravioles in on themselves. Did you hear my five raviolis? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so at the end of our process, these are Kristen's five raviolis a la eggshell, and these are my ravioli a la freaking sausage. This is maybe the hardest little food fight we've ever done. We've been here for hours, I have five raviolis, none of them look the same. Oh, there's one. Please let one of these stay together. We've been cooking for five hours. 
Yeah, it's really dark outside now. Ooh, the Christmas tree looks nice. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm just so it's only a few minutes, right? It's only like a few. Minutes. It's only been, they've only been in there like two minutes. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give it like one more minute and I'm gonna start taking them out. I got pasta all over my dress. You can't tell on camera though. Who's that wonderful girl? <laughs> okay, I think I think these are cooked. I'm gonna leave the other ones in there for a little longer, just in case. I'm gonna put some uh, olive oil and some sea salt on it. Okay. Kristen's one ravioli. Well, I only need, you only need one. The judge is gonna try it right now so that she can have it at its most fresh. She's not gonna say anything until reveal. Ooh, look how beautiful it is. Wow, mmm, delicious. All right. All right, so my water is boiling. My raviolis are gonna go in for Four minutes, and yeah, let's just get this started. They look like they actually look beautiful. Do they? <laughs> okay, these are 100% leaking cheese into the water. No, they're not. So my raviolis have been boiled for the appropriate amount of time. I'm going to remove them. Oh, they have that nice pale, sickly yellow color. Shut <laughs> up, that. They look good. Uh, <laughs> they look delicious. You're wearing a rigatoni sweatshirt. I know, I wore my pasta sweatshirt so that it felt like appropriate for what we were doing <laughs> here today. All right, should we have Brie come? Yep, sprinkle salt. Okay. A little bit of olive oily. Judge, I have prepared for you a ricotta and spicy sausage ravioli. What do you think? Don't, say, don't, don't say, say, don't say. Why'd you ask her that? I don't know, I don't know, I panicked. Get out of here, you. Oh, oh my gosh, can you believe we did all this cooking and there's a beautiful judge here suddenly. Brie, we called you in here because it's time. First of all, let's just compare size. Okay, size does matter. Size my... does matter. <laughs> Kristen's are long. The ravioli part is essentially the same size. It's just Kristen's has a little extra. Yeah. Yes, okay, don't blame me for having a little extra. Kristen and I have created our delicious raviolis. <laughs> And now, we, it's all that's left is to hear from the judge. Okay, judge, talk to me. Okay, so I made you um, a ricotta and burrata and a little bit of nutmeg and some pepper ravioli. What did you think? Um, I thought the filling was really quite good. Um, I liked the use of the burrata with the ricotta. They're sort of similar, but like they bring out a lot in each other. You know, I made a sure. ricotta and spicy sausage ravioli. Brie, what'd you think? I really liked the use of the sausage. Um, you know, it gave it a nice kick. You know, Kristen's also had like some with the nutmeg, but the sausage really added a lot to it. I would also say that your, the actual ravioli part, the, the, it, yours was a little tighter. What does that mean? Are you, are you referring to the big boy here? <laughs> it's part of it. Who won? <laughs> uh, Jen. Yes! Yeah. And, uh, and uh, uh, honestly, yes! what it came, and honestly, it was very close. It was very close. Really? What down, yes, what it came down to was, Kristen, you oversalted yours a little bit. Mm. Oh, crap. That's actually delicious. Yeah. You try, is that mine? You tried mine? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's actually really good. <laughs> Let me try Kristen's real fast. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm going to try the big boy. Yeah, and I'm kind hey, of the big boy. Hey, big man. This is actually really good. I, yeah, I really meant it. Both of them were, like, had a lot of really good elements. This is actually quite delicious. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It actually was hard to pick between them. It really came down to, I thought, Kristen's was a little oversalted. That was really it. Thank you, Brie. Yeah. Wow. That settles it. I am the best Italian in the world. <laughs> thank you to Rakuten for sponsoring this video. Thank you to Kristen and Brie for being delightful. And thank you to me for winning. These are actually delicious. Yeah, these are really good. I, we, like, I mean, they're not really supposed to be handheld, but whatever. Yeah, it's like a Game Boy, essentially. <laughs> New videos every Friday. Use the link in our description. Sign up for Rakuten. Get 40% sign up bonus. Goodbye. We love you. <laughs> Bye. This is delicious. This is a little, little pasta yum yum. Bye.